so Tesla shares are correcting today, which is not surprising at all. That's because it just hit our target of $242, closing its gap, which was our target from when Tesla was down here last week, between November 10 and uh, 13. Now it is losing momentum as expected. But is this enough to bring Tesla back down? to much lower levels. I mean, is this just a harmless pullback or a real bearish reversal chart structure? This is what we are going to see in this video. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and uh, right here, right now, we see a bearish reaction on Tesla stock just when it reached its resistance level over here. This reaction is particularly strong and it is rejecting completely yesterday's bullish candlestick pattern, closing again below the $242, making this reaction from yesterday a possible false breakout from a resistance level and this suggests some correction ahead. Now, if you ask my humble opinion, of course, I do believe that this is just a harmless pullback. This is not a real bearish reversal chart structure yet, because so far, since October 31, Tesla has been doing nothing more, nothing less than higher highs, higher lows. This movement over here is extremely, extremely technical. It is technically perfect. We see a bottom over here, and then it did a high just under the 21 MA on the daily chart, the exponential moving average, and then it just dropped it. It did another harmless pullback just to close this gap over here at 206. And, uh, and in sequence, we see Tesla breaking the previous top level, uh, breaking the previous high, retesting the next resistance level, closing this gap with an astonishing precision before making another bearish reaction. This is a very technical movement. This is almost perfect. I mean, it is essentially a perfect technical movement. Now we see some correction. In theory, in theory, Tesla is supposed to retest its next support levels. We see a very strong support area over here around the $226 because this area is not only the previous top level over here from, from, from November 3, but it is also very close to the 21MA on the daily chart and to, to its last, to its previous gap support level over here as well. So we see a triple support area on Tesla. Now, Nathan, you just told us you just told us that the trend is bullish and uh, you did explain why. However, what it takes for Tesla to frustrate this bullish sentiment? Well, we got to lose this triple support level over here. That would be quite problematic, but uh in the worst case scenario, Tesla would have to lose the 206 again because in this scenario, Tesla is going to make a new lower low. It is going to lose the previous low, which was already higher than the previous bottom level from, from $194 over here, this red line down here. So if we lose the previous bottom level, then Tesla is going to completely destroy the bullish chart structure seen on the daily chart over here. Now, what's the problem? What's the problem with Tesla right now? The problem is that we see the indices losing momentum. And as far as I know, the indices could drop all the way down to their own 21 EMAs on the daily chart over here. SPY could drop. SPY could even lose the $438 uh, top level over here just to retest the 21 EMA again. QQQ faces a similar challenge over here. It is losing momentum. We just uh, QQQ just reached a very important resistance level around $387. This key point over here is literally the 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 yearly's high. Year, years yearly's high. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I'm so sorry. 
feel free to correct me because I'm Brazilian and uh, English is not my mother language. And uh, which reminds me, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you are not my subscriber yet because this random Brazilian trader is going to keep you guys updated every single day on Tesla, SPY, QQQ and many other stocks. So consider subscribing to keep in touch with my daily analysis. I'm here every single day keeping you guys updated on Tesla and on other stocks. Now, QQQ is on the verge of re of breaking the the yearly high over here however we are losing momentum right now if we actually trigger a top signal tech stocks are going to correct and uh tesla is going to correct as well and uh, this is the only thing if we see a sharp correction on the indices tesla could drop to lose and uh, lose the triple support level mentioned here on the daily chart and the retest the 206 again of course that's the worst case scenario however it is a realistic scenario to work with right now at this moment the indices they do look stretched right they do i mean we went up from the 409 spy went up from the 409 to 450 dollars going up 10 percent in one single bullish leg this is very rare qqq made a similar reaction we reached the support level of this descending channel and then we went up 13 percent from from 342 dollars to 387 dollars that's a very strong movement this is rare this is this is not that common to see so we see a very sharp bullish reaction this to me looks quite euphoric and uh, when we see the market going up thanks to euphoria usually it drops thanks to panic as well so we gotta be very careful over here if we see the indices correcting very sharply tesla could drop all the way down to the 206 area and uh, if we lose the 206 it is going to completely ruin the bullish chart structure over here so let's hope that this triple support level is going to work as a reliable support level for tesla mid-term speaking because if it does tesla could continue continue the pattern of higher highs higher lows this is the ideal scenario right this is unlike the worst case scenario this is the best case scenario tesla would find a support level around this area probably probably given another buying opportunity and then okay that's just fine tesla is going to resume the bullish sentiment and uh, retest higher levels which reminds me if you do want to trade with me if you want to have access to my personal buy and sell signals on tesla spy qqq nvidia and many other stocks join our telegram channel the qr code is right here on the left corner of your screen and on the fixed comment below just join us over there so far we are doing very well now on the weekly chart why why is it so important to see tesla breaking breaking its resistance levels because we see that tesla is on the verge of triggering a possible bullish flag chart pattern yes we are inside a descending channel over here as seen on the weekly chart however to me this this seems to be just another bullish flag pattern and uh, by breaking this flag pattern upwards tesla is going to resume the long-term bullish sentiment on it because the, because the sentiment long-term speaking is bullish since uh january this year we have been doing higher highs higher lows and uh, by breaking this uh bullish flag upwards i believe tesla could easily easily reach the 300 dollars again of course this is a long term reading a long term chart the weekly chart it is gonna take a while for this scenario to materialize especially considering that a short slash mid-term pullback is very likely right now so we gotta pay attention to these key support and resistance levels as you guys can see on this chart over here and uh, again i'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day so subscribe click the like button leave a comment leave a comment because right now tesla is on the verge of either <laughs> either continuing the bullish rally over here the bullish chart structure by finding a support level or by losing this triple support level and the retesting retesting the next support at the 206 so what do what do you believe will happen 
Will Tesla find a support level around here, the $226, or it is going to crash and lose and retest its next support levels? Leave a comment. Let me know. I highly appreciate your support, my dear friends. Thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.